No, we're not. I'm Squidward. And I'm Patrick. Good for you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Anime Trials. You can see we're somewhat in a different background. It's because we've moved temporarily. We'll be back in our normal setting uh, later on. But for now, we're here. So, if you don't know what Anime Trial is, link in the description below to a video that explains all. So, I had to watch a animated movie by Miyazaki, which is always fun to see, called... Terry Wolf and Wolf's Beer. Princess Mononoke. There we go. Yeah, or Mononoke Hime, or whatever like that. You had to watch. I have no idea what the film is called. In English, it's Wicked City. Wicked City. Yeah, I Wicked knew it ended in City, but I forgot yeah. the film was called. Alright, um, sorry for you, really. I think you have okay. the fate. Yeah. So, Wicked City, was it? Yeah. Okay. It's a film. No shit. <laughs> This one's hard to talk about. I'm just gonna type it up and you... Let's see if it okay. recalls anything to The you. story is that there's this cop... Well, the world... There's these two worlds. A human world and a... A, a demon-ish world. Yeah, yeah. And they're starting to... They can cross over. And there's these people called... What are they called? The black... Something? Black guards? Uh, there is a black world, parallel dimension. Uh, time this around. is agents then. Yeah. Two agents, a lead organization known as Black Guards. Yeah, we're back. Oh, they were back. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. Well done. yeah. Uh, they kind of like make sure nothing goes wrong and just make sure the two are separated and fine. Yeah. And then something happens. I don't know. <laughs> like an ambassador guy of some sort. Yeah, it's very strange. I like the the main cop gets a partner who's from the Black World. That's one of those. Who's an, Alien that conveniently looks like a human woman. Yeah. And then bad stuff happens. Yeah. Let's just leave the ending out, but. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of fucking bullshit. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> uh, this is probably the worst thing you've ever seen. What was this made? 1987. Come on, give us some slack. As far as I know, the animation's good for the time. I couldn't fault it that much. Okay. That's the only lenient I'm giving it. And the voice acting was fine. As far as I could tell. Yeah. Story is... Okay. Oh, oh I have forgotten oh, most things sorry. about it. Oh, sorry. I don't think it's called Wicked C No, yeah, it is Wicked It is called Wicked yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah. The characters are... really boring. I don't think there's any kind of... What about of the cop guy? I feel like the cop guy tried to put at least some you, energy into his voice. You mean the main guy? Yeah. Yeah, voice acting wise he was fine. I mean, just as a character he was kind of boring. Boring-ish. Yeah, alright. It's like Tommy Lee Jones from Men in Black if he was boring. That was a really bad analogy. It was, because he sounds bored. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty much Wicked City, that's the synopsis. Uh, okay, uh, uh, you've been talking about some bad points? Some many decent points? There's a lot of... Um, well, I can't really work around this. There's a tentacle rape scene in it, which was really unnecessary. Okay. There was also a bunch of shit. Yeah. I. Okay, I can pretty much sum most of the problems I have with the characters are bad, as in they're mostly boring and there's no depth to them whatsoever. Yeah. The story is okay, as far as I remember, because I have forgotten quite a lot of the stuff that happens in the second half. So have I. Apart from the tentacle rape scene. What about... Yeah. The, uh... Animation's fine. For the time, I believe. Yeah. Because it was the 80s. Yeah. And all I have to base off that is Acura. Yeah. Keep that in. Yeah. And then... So that's the bad points. Good points. Like, voice acting was fine. All the good things I can say are that it was fine. What about music? I do not remember a damn thing about the music. Very 80s music. So it was yeah. probably bad, as far as I can tell. Alright then, yeah. I so remember there being sound effects that I felt were weird. Okay. Which is a strange thing to pick up on. But yeah, they, they, they do that. They do that. So I'm switching sounds, breaking sounds. So, um, pass fail? Fail. <laughs> Miserably, yeah, it, is, it is a bad it, film. It's, it's incredibly boring. Mm -hmm. Very stupid in some parts. Yeah. And I would question some character motivations. Only one to Mononoke. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Mononoke Hime, Hime or like Princess, Princess Mononoke, Mononoke Jinx. Um is basically a story um well kind of hard to to 
actually explain and sort of easy if you actually watch it. Well, pr pretty much Princess Mononoke is, uh, is about a prince, or kind of like this next in line to the throne because of the bloodline kind of person, named Ashi Ashitaka. Wow, well, really using it. Uh, Ashitaka, and one day he sees a beast, but it's actually a god who's turned into sort of a demon, kind of running around loose. And of course he kills it, but he gets infected by it, and now he's trying to find a cure to heal his illness, or he's going to die. So of course he gets banished from his little village, and he encounters uh, like a monk, who I thought was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty monk, pretty cool. And then um, Mononoke, you know, Princess Mononoke. I just call her Mononoke. She's not really a princess or anything. Just Mononoke, and but for like a brief second, and then uh, visits Iron Town where all these people work and pretty much they sort of uh, destroy the forest and the forest creatures are really angry about it. Now they're, they're considered gods, not like your typical like Bruce Almighty kind of god kind of thing, but you're, you're talking like forest spirit gods, like spirit gods, like Holo, yeah, you know, Holo the Wise, yeah. that kind of god basically. You know, they can die and yeah, they can basically die. <laughs> Um, they don't have much power, really. I mean, the wolves are pretty powerful, no. but the, the pigs themselves, you can easily kill them. I mean, like, easily kill them. Uh, then there's, like, the Great Spirit Force. So pretty much, it's, if I had to sum up, like, like, what's actually trying to really, what the message is, because usually these Studio Ghibli films have a message to them, and it's pretty much that um, sometimes the enemy is not the enemy, or that sometimes you should just really take care of nature, that kind of thing. Or like nature and human beings, like humans in general, can, you know, coexist and try to find that perfect world. Yeah, that kind of thing. Not gonna spoil the ending, but it's kind of a kick-ass ending in my opinion. They didn't do what I thought they did, which is kind of good. I find that in most of your films though. What? Is that they don't do what you think they're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, totally. All right, so let's go on to characters. You have San, who is... Son. Son, who is Mononoke. Uh, yeah, she's an interesting character, but she's kind of a rough, brute character. I want to call her Sundere, kind of cold-hearted and then kind of warms up to the main character. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's better. Yeah, you have Ashitaka, who is just this kind of... He's not a badass, like, compared to, um, Howl. But he's more of a righteous kind of character who always believes that there's always another way for peace and stuff like that. That kind of a peace bring on the means have no end, so I don't know, whatever. Then you have uh, other characters, uh, such as the uh, lady who runs Iron Town, who I don't know at all. Forgive me. And then you have Yako, the monk, who I thought was pretty cool. How he can do so much things and you don't really know until like later on in the story. Wait, the monk's name is Yako? Yeah, Yako. Oh, okay. I don't know who, he, who he's voiced by. He's supposed to be celebrities. I barely know any of these. I know one of them was in Donny Darko. But that's about it. Who was that? I think it was Sam. Claire Danes? Maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Um, so character's good. Story is good. Music is lovely. Um, any problems? Well, it's not my favorite Ghibli film by far. Um, some of the bits are boring. Other bits are unnecessary. I can name. A, I can actually name a bit. It's the freaking the little white head guys who just move their necks. Like the imagine bubble heads. Yeah, but they go oh, different the, ways. the small spirit things. Yeah, yeah, I really didn't care for them. I don't see what what they added apart from just they just helping them. But whatever, they added it. Um, I would say this is the only. This and Howl's Moving Castle is the only Ghibli film I've ever seen that feels its length. Because this is like two and a half hours. Yeah. And it definitely felt two and a half hours. Yeah, exactly. So characters are good, story is good, um, uh, honestly bits at times, music is not really memorable, I forgot it instantly. But I do remember the characters, so the characters are indeed strong, and the story is strong, it kind of gets to you. So pass or fail, it definitely pass, because I've never seen any bad Studio Ghibli things ever. Yet. Uh, I know, I'm not, don't quote me on that. Quote me on that. Alright, so now is part of the section. Sorry if we sound really tired, by the way. It's kind of like 11-ish. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
So basically, fail, pass. Now it's the part of the show where we give each other an anime to watch. So it's going to be a series. Uh, Sam. Uh, yeah. You get to watch, please, teacher, plus the OVA, because it is canon, and I just... just yeah, that makes it 13. It makes it 13, makes it 13 yeah. So you can compare it, and I think it is stronger than I don't know to direct to you. Just a little bit. Okay. But what, what am I going to watch? Uh, I'm giving you Elf and Lead. Oh, I've Wait. heard many good things about that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah, so 13 episode anime, 13 episode anime, we have two weeks to watch it. Which is actually pretty okay. That has been Anime Trial. We will see you guys next time. Hopefully, we feel energized. And we should be back in our normal setting. Yeah. Bye. Take care.